we'll call the uh, this meeting of the Unionville Historic District and Properties Commission to order on June 3rd, 2021. Um, first, a review and approval of the May 6, 2021 meeting minutes. <clears throat> I'll give all of you a minute to review if you haven't had a chance to up to this point. <clears throat> Shannon's perfect minutes. <laughs> no. They are. Star again? <laughs> no. Of course no. They do. Goodness. Every minute. Right. Can I have a, a motion to approve the minutes, please? I make a motion to approve the minutes. Thank you. A second. Second. Uh, any for any discussion or corrections to the minutes? I don't think so. No. Nope. Um, they are. And, yeah, oh. the only one I had was um, update um, for the new house being added. We, we, we dropped one. Dropped what? What are you talking about? On the minute. So the uh, additions, the update <coughs> on the expansion. Let's put it that way. I can't remember. Right. What it was. So the expansion study. <clears throat> yeah, we lost one, I believe. Correct. And that wasn't noted. We. Uh, oh, you think it should be in there? Yes, I believe it should be there. Okay. We, we did say it, but we didn't put it in the minutes. Okay, fair enough. Um, so that's the one on uh, Lovely Street. Correct, the Cardinal Love's house. Yeah, okay. Thank you, Bob. I can add that. All right, so the minutes will be amended to reflect the fact that the house on the Cardillo home on Lovely Street was dropped from the expansion um, plan. Leaving how many? How many properties then? There's three. Three. Three total. Okay. That'll be. Put that in there. You know, okay. Yep. The number, just so we have a record of it. Okay. Any other uh, discussion or corrections to the minutes? No. All right, we'll move on the motion. Please indicate your approval by saying aye. 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 Any nays? Abstentions? All right, the minutes are approved. Um, we will move on now to our public hearing um, for 230 Main Street, Unionville. <clears throat> and um, Shannon will read the um, notice for us, please. Howard's going to read it in tonight. Oh, for Howard. Us. Okay. Thank you, Howard. Notice is hereby given that the Unionville Historic District and Property Study Committee will hold an online public hearing on Thursday, June 3rd, 2021 at 7 p.m. on the following application. 230 Main Street LLC application for certificate of appropriateness to replace siding and window trim at 230 Main Street, Unionville. At this hearing, interested persons may be heard and written communications received. A copy of this proposal is on file in the Planning Department and in the Town Clerk's Office at Town Hall, Farmington, Connecticut, and may also be accessed on Farmington's official website, which is connected to the Historic Commission, Unionville, dated at Farmington, Connecticut, May 14th, 2021. Unionville Historic District and Property Study Committee, Lisa Johnson, Chair. Thank you, Howard. <clears throat> so, um, so George, have, I'm sorry, go ahead, Shannon. No, I was just gonna say George is with us this evening to present live. I'm here. Terrific. So, <laughs> right. Yeah, thanks for having me. Um, so it's um, really similar to the discussion we had last time, but I've got some materials with me. Um, and we've made the choice to uh, swap out the, the existing uh, vinyl siding with a newer, um, better looking, more wood grain looking type of uh, vinyl and the uh, window trim. Um, so the um, window trim is really kind of what's up in the air because I guess we're not really sure what was originally there. We do have those old photos of the house 
Um, but uh, it's kind of hard to see whether it was just a simple picture frame or something more ornate. Um, so that's where the question is. Um, I, uh, I, I don't mind doing a simple picture frame. Um, we can look at the house now as what's existing, and it's uh, an aluminum piece that has a little arch to it, a dome type of thing. Uh, that was done sometime, I would say, in the 80s or 90s. Oh, that, that oh, was done? okay. That, yeah. that late? Yeah. Oh, okay. This okay. was done. And it's aluminum. It's aluminum. It's not original. So you're talking about? This, this yeah. tube. Yep. And you um, can definitely see that there's an angle to it. Can right. you see the original uh, photos of the house, too? Um, I think there's some down, down, further down. So that's this house down the street, which is that's the Robotham house, which has the picture frame style. Um, I do not. I don't think it at one point we shared my shared screen? screens. Okay. Um, so I don't have this to work. I do. Do you want me to log in to this meeting? You have to at this point okay. in order to do this to share screens. Okay. Let me see if I can find that photo first. Um, one minute. Yeah, but this is the trim. That's the piece, yeah. So that's also made. The back too. Uh, we can talk about the material at, at this point while I'm looking. Um, that's a PVC uh, material, which um, is a plastic based um, composite. Uh, I love. Uh, the strength of it, and what, they can mill it into any way to look any sort of way. So you can pull off the crown molding and just do like a simple picture frame, um, like at that robot house that's down the road. Um, it can really be made to look any way, kind of just like wood. Okay. Has the commission um, allowed for PVC or those types of um, materials for trim or window tr exterior trim? We have, yes. Here. Uh, there you go. 
Good. 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 Yep. Beautiful. Good. Wow. Nice work, my man. Good right. to have you around. Okay. So now it's yours. Yeah. <laughs> Under, um, my co host. Here we go. Yes. Perfect. All right. Your co host, you can take over the screen and share the additional photos if you'd like at this point. Okay. All right. All right. So, there they are. Yeah. Uh, let me see if I can get the clearest one, would be probably these two at the bottom. But it's, it doesn't look too involved. I definitely don't see the arches. Definitely on, on this one, it's pretty straight. Yeah. I want to say this was at some point in the early 1900s, midnight, maybe 1930s or 40s. So you don't think there's any little arch at the top? Of the I don't think that was ever there. I think that was added. Okay. Yeah. yeah. And the conversation we had before, like I was saying, is that, you know, when the house went into the historic commission, it had been modified. Yes. And I think the idea here is probably hopefully to preserve the architecture of what the Greek revivals would be, you know. Yeah. I think that's more of, that would make more sense with this house, I think. Yeah. Um, so there's that. Let me see if we can get a better one here. Here we go. That's straight on. I mean, that's... To do a straight, simple... Uh, just, just a, a simple picture frame. Or yeah. adding the element of the crown, which would be something that was in line with Greek revivals, or some of them. They were all different. Some of them had an arch. Some of them had a like a like a like a triangle at the top of them. A lot like really? the design of the house. Uh huh. Um, but the uh, the crown would mimic those on the side of the house, like the um, like the um, those columns. I want to say that's the oldest one that I have because you can see that it looks like the back of the house is still being used as a shed slash some sort of carriage house or garage. Uh -huh. But it looks like it's a lot of straight lines. It doesn't yeah. look like there's yeah. a lot of movement or anything. So the question is whether do you do a crown or do you do a simple picture frame? And then if the if the PVC is okay to use um, with the vinyl siding. That's this. That's that, correct. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. So I I think the question I think there are two questions here. Um, I think the the easier question for commissioners would be the PVC. Um, the use of composite PVC. Um, so may, perhaps we'll start with that, and then we can. The next question we can consider is the um, configuration of the trim around the windows, whether to require the arch or, or not. So, um, so uh, questions for George about the use of the PVC. Any? I have no question. George, I do. Have question is it going to be paintable are you going to paint the trim or is it are you going to use it is paintable yeah so i'll i'll put some sort of uh coating on it um uh, to help uh keep it watertight and i mean it's pvc so it's great with water um i'll probably paint them yeah is that probably is um, i will paint them <laughs> okay. Yeah. okay just want to make yeah. sure um yeah because there is a difference between i think Un, all, uh, unpainted PVC, the look of it, and painted. Um, right. Yeah, okay. Anybody else have questions about the use of PVC on the trim? No. Well, we've approved it before, correct? We have. I don't know that we've approved it for window trim, but we've approved it for porch features. Um, Mm -hmm. But yes, we have, and we have discussed this in the past, and we've learned a lot about the material. Yes, so definitely. All right, so then moving on to the question of the configuration of the trim around the windows, whether to require George to put the arch back or whether to um, allow him to, um, 
or whether you think there's enough evidence to allow him to do this, you know, the rectangular frame. Um, let's talk about that, ask questions about that. Let's consider that uh, question. Um, what I'm going to do is just pull up some examples of mm -hmm. what some files look like. So, mm -hmm. I mean, they kind of, if you could see here to the left, um, you'll see stuff like that. Oh, yeah. But I just don't think that was there, you know. Um, I think probably most likely the house had something simple like, uh, let's say, if I can find it here. <coughs> Mm -hmm. Oh, that's beautiful. Isn't it? Yeah, it is. That mm -hmm. has a little more depth to it than a simple, um, than a simple. Uh, but it's not a full crown. It's, it's not, not a full, full crown. crown. No. It's just like another little right layer, g giving it a little bit more texture. Right. Yeah. Um, It'll be cheaper too, probably. I think than the crown. Yeah. yeah and have putting crowns on all those windows. Crown. Yeah. Yeah. I Were you only going to do the front? Like that, or um, the the eighteen the 1830 house will be the one that's done. That's if I do crown, it'll be just the 1830 yeah, part of the house. Yeah. The back won't. Yeah. I don't. This is one with crown. We can do it with foot. One of these days. Uh, <laughs> okay, so that'll be a it's a you know a simpler crown, but whatever the crown will be will match what the cornice looks like. Okay. I think for, from my point of view, um, I mean, technically, George, we need to, we need to require you to keep the features that are there when this building came into the district and the crown was there. I think the, in, from my point of view, the only reason why I would um, approve the simpler window surround would be a compelling piece of evidence that that's what was there historically. Um, that photograph, which could be as early as 1930, because it's a color photograph, you know, so 30s, 40s, maybe even 50s or early 60s, to me is compelling evidence that the crown wasn't there um, right. that, that went on in the 80s, as you say. So I think from my point of view, as long as that photograph, um, you know, depicts the building before that crown went on, I'm comfortable with the simpler window surround. Um, how does anybody else feel about it? I agree completely. Yeah. Yeah, me too. Yeah, I, I like the plainer look. I think it looks as long it was, as it, that it was like that originally. Well, yes. Hmm? It, it, did did you say know. the the crown, that little peak it had, that that was aluminum? It is. It is. So it's that was definitely yeah. not no, historic. Yeah. When it went in. That was yesterday. I think when the house <laughs> yeah. went in, this was how, that's the thing with it. It's when it goes in is what's on it. I know. Is, no, yeah. I understand that. But I mean, it, I don't think necessarily, I did look at a lot of pictures and um, and some of them are too hard to really see the detail. It's really but tough, yeah. I think um, this is, is a better match district. Yeah. yeah. I think we just have to be careful as commissioners when we look at the details of one building that we don't generalize what it might have looked like based on other buildings even around it because you could have a builder that builds an 1830 house who just has a quirky desire for something and he puts it on that house and that house alone. And I think that as commissioners, it's our job to make sure that we're preserving the characteristics of that particular building. So right. although looking at other buildings of the period is very um, important, so we have that knowledge base, I think we have to be careful not to generalize that knowledge and say, for example, most Greek arrival houses had the simple window surround, therefore that'll work for this house. I think we have to think particularly about this unique house. But once again, I think that photograph is compelling as evidence of the right. window surround. It's, it's consistent with the with the um, the millwork that's around that front door, going back to that that squared off look. 
I mean, the the thing is, if it was something that would have that would have been original or or part of the architecture, chances are there would have been somewhat of that detail over the front door as well, and that we don't see that in any of the pictures. Right. It's a really good point. Yeah, really good point. All right. I yeah, agree 100. percent That's where my head was at the whole time with this. So, uh, bringing the crown was kind of like, oh, is this something that would work, or is that you know just an idea or whatnot? But I, I agree, and I think that's enough compelling evidence alone. Just looking at the how linear it is. Mm -hmm. But if George wanted to put a small pediment, you know, just to give it more depth on top, not a full crown, but like another little ledge. Would that be approved, do you think, if you wanted to know? I would not approve that. I, okay. Me, okay. I would approve what's there existing or something that reflects, uh, you know, what was there historically, such as we see in that photograph. Right. Yeah. Right. Yeah. And it doesn't look like a super bold piece, too. I don't know. It's really kind of hard. To, it's just hard to tell. Yeah. We need a really good microscope on that photograph to yeah. <laughs> something that really kind of gives you some uh, expansion of that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. All right. So, so we've uh, so then we've talked. Any other questions or comments or discussion about the windows? Um, any questions or comments about the? Uh, uh, the vinyl siding that George is proposing. Um, George, do you have a sample of that that you could show? We do. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. There's yeah. a couple different brands. Um, okay. Can I give me the screen back, then I can. Uh, I guess I'll give it back. Yeah. This is the one. This is the one that you. That's one of them. Yeah. And the other one, the monogram, is just a little better quality. I guess it's the lo the runs are a little bit longer. Um, so you don't have as many, uh, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. These are both the same company, so. Oh, what color were you thinking? Oh, God, can you help me? Because I don't know. <laughs> I don't know what to do. We don't have to worry about color. Color's one thing we don't get to, to no, chat. No, I know. Uh, yeah. oh, Just matter. curious. I mean, do I go white? <laughs> do you, you know, I don't know. I'm really... The texture on these are is different. It is a different texture yeah, yeah, on that one, yeah. correct? Yep. The monogram is a better this, product. Yeah. This one is. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. There's that. Mm -hmm. And then those That's are the both same. monogram. Mm -hmm. One's a. Okay. What did we determine, George? One's a 220 one's a, series and one's a 210 series. Yeah. And so it has to do with the wind. <laughs> so, so if there's 20, 220 mile an hour winds, I think apparently I'll, I'm going to be okay. And that's 210 miles an hour. Right. So, so the monogram is yeah. the same. And this, except for the trees. <laughs> right. Right. <laughs> Not going to be okay. The texture is different. I think the trees are different. Those should the be the same. same. Yeah. That one over there is right. that. These to that are different. Right. Right. These two are the same? Yeah. Okay. Those, yeah. Yeah, those are the same over there. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. Like I said, it's just the wind. The wind feels uh, like that. Continuous, no seams. Um, this one will have less seams, right? This comes in 25 feet. How how wide is the front of the house? Uh. I don't know. That's a good question. Guessing? 30? Yeah. What I'm depending on those of you who are in that room to uh, decide what is best for this building. Have a good shot of the front. Yeah, there you go. There we go. Yeah. So the one up now has quite a few seams. Um, Many more than this monogram? Yeah, they're shorter cuts, I think. It's not bad, actually. I mean, for the time period of when they put it up, it's not terrible. 
You left me going with the form of trivia. Yeah. I think that's what the basically oh, the yeah, reveal yeah. that's up there. Right. Whatever's there, yeah. Yeah. And then the what? The, the, yeah. 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 The, 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 oh, yeah. Four, four or five. <clears throat> right. so this, is the, mm-hmm. this is the Dutch. Comments about the material? Does any any commissioners have a preference and can you describe why that is the case? I like the idea of the less teams. Less less teams, less pop, less Right. Less shifting. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm-hmm. Probably. Right. Exactly. Unless we get a 230 mile an hour wind. Well, at that time, I was just looking at the fact that October the other one only is 200 mile an hour wind, <laughs> and it's, it's thinner. Right. These, this this part is definitely already thicker than, than, than this one. Yeah, you can yeah. see it. The J yeah. channels are way better. Yeah. 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 I really don't care for the texture of this. Right, compared right. to that That's one. Much right. Right. Yeah, that's yeah. much solider. Right. More solid. Yeah, right. Yeah. What have you, um, in the past, what, um, Composite or uh, final fighting oh. brands? Have you, if all at all? Do we remember? We have never yeah. approved vinyl siding. <laughs> no. We haven't had a building with vinyl siding come before the commission. It's all been wood well, siding, so. Um, there are two of them. Yeah. yeah. I mean, we're not. Uh, we can't. We can't really deny you, George, the use of vinyl siding since that was what was on the building when it came into the district. So. Right. Um, but we certainly want to. Make sure you choose a excellent product for the building, but yeah, which yeah. So, uh, am I hearing that there's one one of those products that more commissioners prefer? Um, yeah. Because yeah. 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 Or trivial. Yeah. Okay. Any um is what is on the house now? On there now, yeah. 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 Okay. Any other discussions about the siding, the quality or appearance, anything? No? I'm I'm just curious about the sashes. Were you gonna do anything about the uh, under the window? That's what, yeah, yeah. So if you go to a, a, a photo of what's now, I, it'll pro, uh, just replace what's there. Really, and just do like a, it's already boxed out as this, kind of like that. Um, mm-hmm. With like a little, I would say about a one inch reveal on each side. Um, Are those aluminum clad as well, or are those still the boys? Aluminum clad, yeah. 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 Sorry, you're going to switch those over to the PVC. PVC, yeah. 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 Okay. And they won't be usable, really. They'll be decoration. More so, yeah. I yeah. mean, yeah. Just, okay. It's definitely creating a better tight window for sure mm-hmm. as well, which is nice. Mm-hmm. With these J channels, I mean, it's better than even putting a, a traditional up instead of then caulking it, really. Mm-hmm. So. Mm-hmm. Okay. Any other questions for George? You no, know, last time we talked last month, there was there was a discussion about the shutters. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Could you tell us again what you're doing with those? Oh, well, I was gonna discuss it with you guys. I really uh, I wanted to see what it looked like without it, and then you know, and I'd like to put something, either you know, fix them up and paint them and put them back up, or or you know, find something that's more appealing than what's there. Because um, wasn't there an overlap? There's an overlap on certain ones that. Are yeah. yeah, but yeah, the ones that are you can see it in right the right center. Right yeah. Well, we talked about your moving them back in. A little Where bit, yeah. So it would be up. less. If you look at the old photo of the house as well, um, which I can share again, apparently they were overlapping then too. <laughs> yeah. So, yeah. Yes. Yeah. So. Um, if they really covered the window, I don't think you could do it without overlap. 
with his closed windows. Right. You couldn't right. read. Yeah. You know. Right. If they were real working. Sorry. All right, George, are the shutters part of your uh, application, your COA application? No, because no. I'm just going to probably replace what's existing with that. Oh, okay. So for this project, you're just going to put these shutters back on. Is that what you're saying? Yeah, these or just a newer version of these again. Is that is that suffice? Um. Like for like, so that would be yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right. Are Are you thinking of changing the mounting of the shutters to pull them more onto the tr window trim? You talked about that last time. Or are you just going to go ahead and do what is there presently? I would be happy to make it look much more appealing than it does now. Which means yeah. Which uh, means moving them. Which means moving them and and doing a. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So that is a change. We do need to, I mean, I approve it. Okay. Okay. Um, no, that's good. That's great. Um, all right. So. So I did that. Go ahead. I just jump in with a housekeeping item. When you are ready, we do, we need to appoint one of the alternates for for voting, um, Matt, I look back at my records, Matt was appointed for the last meeting, so it would be Barbara or Ann if you wanted to rotate through for this meeting. Okay. Uh, so. Barbara, would you please vote um, on the fill in? For, four. Okay, thank you, Barbara. Um, thank you, uh, Shannon. So, uh, is there anything else about the shutters, George? I, I can be appointed to fill a vacancy. All right, we'll talk about that later, yeah. Um, any Anything else about the shutters you want to tell us, George? Um, not really. I mean, I think that the only thing that I'm really going to do is just replace it with probably a new ones, um, just because these are just a little beat, sunbeat, and bending, and very thin material. Um, so probably the same exact thing as just a, a, a newer, uh, a newer version of it. Okay, I think that. Um, okay. We made. This is an option for the commission, but we make our motion. But I think we can make a motion approving elements we want to approve and provisionally approve new shutters if George decides to go that route um, based on seeing a sample or you know something so we know with clarity what it's going to look like. We trust you, George, but this is part of what we have to do. Um, okay. Um, any more questions about the shutters? No? Is there anything else you want to tell us, George, about? Uh, um, no, I mean, uh, for exterior, that's really it. I, uh, everything else is going to be essentially the same, uh, like for like, if I do um, the roof at some point or just gutters. But uh, yeah, uh, that's that's what's going on with that. I mean, I do have other plans for the house, but I, don't, I guess I can save those for another meeting. But um, do you guys have any ideas for what color you think will look nice? I would love to hear it. I really don't know what to do. <laughs> do I make it white? I mean, it would look beautiful, but, you know. Yeah, yeah that's something we can discuss informally, but probably not part of the right. public hearing. Right, right, right. We right. That. But we're all dying to discuss it with you, so. Um, <laughs> Purple might not Purple, be Purple, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, it was a pink house. So. I wanted him to go back to the pink, and he said he's not going pink. So. we got to go pink somewhere now. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So it but sounds... Yeah. Oh, go ahead. No, yeah, that's really it. I, I'm really... Um, truth is that I am uh, excited to bring this house back. So yeah. it's oh, a, an God. exciting We're project. Excited. Yeah, Thank yeah. You. yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. All right, so I'm going to, any other questions, commissioners? Because we can craft a motion right now. Um, we don't have to stop our discussions, but at least we'll have a motion on the table. Um, because, George, these are, you know, we've got three different pieces of this application. I want to make sure that we, um, 
So I, I'm going to go ahead and make the motion and with your help, commissioners, uh, to fill in the details. So I'm going to make a motion to approve the use of the, what is the name of the siding you decided on? Monogram. 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 Monogram, the use of the monograms uh, vinyl siding, um, the use of composite PVC window trim mm -hmm. to, to be painted um, in, in either the, um, the triangular cap or the simple rectangular, depending on what George decides. And third, um, the provisional approval of um, or the approval of the reinstallation of the current shutters, or the provisional approval of the installation of new shutters uh, after the commission has had a chance to see uh, that material, the material the new shutters is, are going to be made of. That's a long motion. Is that <laughs> I second it because you did a good job. <laughs> Thank you, Howard. I don't have to repeat it. Um, all right. So uh, we have a, a motion and we have a second. Um, any more discussion about uh, this application before we vote on it? At all? No? Shall we move the motion? All in favor of approving the COA for 230 uh, Main Street, uh, please indicate by saying aye. 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 Any nays? Any abstentions? Terrific, the motion carries. Well, George, thank you. Um, yeah, thank you guys for taking the time to review it and I appreciate everybody's support on the project and yeah. feedback. It's been wonderful, actually. It's been a really nice experience, so thank you. Good. Great. Good. Good. Well, we're really looking forward to seeing you start on the work, George. It's going to be very celebratory. Thank you. I appreciate that. I feel the same way. <laughs> Good. All right. So we'll close this uh, public hearing. Um, George, you can take all the sample things with you. All right, thank you. you. I'll work on uh, a shutter. Okay. That's fine. And you can knock it out. We can uh, get uh, get it emailed out to everybody. So Perfect. if you get a um, brochure, even or um, something on photos, that okay. it can all get emailed. And once I pull that down, I can even bring the old one. So sure. I'll do that too. Well, okay. Thank you guys for your time. Thank, thank you. you. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, well, thank you. <laughs> yep. Thank you. Night. That's great. Good. All right, let's move on to the review of the guidelines. Um, and you could be honest with me, I have not touched my particular section. Has anybody worked on their section yet? I have. I, I have. admit I looked at it this morning. <laughs> <laughs> well, you're ahead of the rest of us. Then. That's wonderful. All right, if those of you who are diligent enough to do your sections, why don't we hear from, from you uh, in particular, and you'll shame the rest of us into getting to work for the next meeting. <laughs> All okay. right. Am I the only one who? I have no changes. I have no yeah. changes on my Okay. Yeah. Oh, well, you have... and, you may, and you may think my changes are a little ridiculous, and that's okay. Because <laughs> the no, first I time I'm doing I this, I did look at the um, park services guidelines that came out in 2017, which was a year later. And I also looked at some historical, um, God, I think, um, I think Lexington, Massachusetts, which 
I mean, that goes on forever, but, you know, just to get another idea of what other areas are doing. So anyway, and again, this may not even really make sense. Um, the window section at the end, um, match color as closely as possible, you know, to whatever they have. Retain historic glass when other components need replacing, if possible. Replace historic glass with similar glass or newly manufactured glass with similar visual characteristics such as wavy glass. Now, I don't know if there's anything in the district that has wavy glass. Oh, yeah. Oh, okay. You can get... With new, in other words, you you know, if you can't save the glass, but you want to keep that look as much as possible. I happen to love that look, but anyway, um, you can get new wavy glass in several different um, characteristics. So, in other words, because wavy glass is different, you, it comes showing different characteristics that you can get. So it is available. And I think if people have it, it would be nice to keep it. Um, and then they speak very briefly about storm windows. If possible, add interior storm windows. So if, in other words, if you, if, if you can and of course, you want those exterior windows to be in pretty good shape and solid, but as added performance, instead of covering them, put them inside. Um, porches and steps, um, locate any additional porches and steps in any area not visible from the front or side public view. So that's, that's all I found that um, I thought we might want to add. Yeah, so let's, let's talk about Barbara's uh, additions here. Um, does anybody have any thoughts about adding these pieces? And we don't have to make final decisions tonight. We'll be looking at this whole document in total with the recommended changes, but it's nice to have an opportunity to talk about these as we look at them individually. I never even knew wavy glass existed, so I'm, I'm learning right you've now. You've never gone. You've never been in a really old pub with a <laughs> strange kind of the glass. It could be a little I, thick. I, I probably thin. never. I think about it. I probably seen it, but I wasn't yeah, really yeah, aware. Yeah. You know? yeah, yeah. I think uh, in older homes, it's mostly the air bubbles that is right, in the glass. Right. 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 That could be a problem to find. Yeah, well, you're, you're not going to be able to get the exact thing, but you can get you can get glass that, glass that, that like will it. replicate that look. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and it and it does um, it does a whole different thing with the light as it comes through. It diffuses mm -hmm. it differently, so mm -hmm. it gives sure. even the inside room a different look. You know, I don't, I don't know if we can require applicants to match the color as much as we would want to, because I think that comes under the, that's one of the things that commissions just don't have purview over. Um, so I, I don't know, we'll have to kind of research. Yeah, no, that's true. But, but just to make, I, I, I'm not saying take it out, Barbara, I like, uh, thinking about it and needing to do some research okay. on it just um, okay. you know there's several places where the national parks the um the national guidelines call out regulation of color but it's the state it's our state statutes that are, that prevents us right. from doing that right exactly kind of like, same thing is true with the technology the solar panel stuff and the technology yeah. they're a little more stringent when you look at the, the federal guidelines but the state clearly says nope yeah. Do what you can, but you can't prevent it. Yeah, yeah. 
I don't I don't know the uh, porches and steps, although this is definitely something we need to be clear with applicants about. I just wonder if that's redundant. Uh, we we really regulate the appearance of buildings from the public side, whatever that is for um, if for buildings who have a facade on the on a street, it's really only the front. For buildings on the corner of two on the corner with two streets, it's the front and the side. Mm -hmm. uh, but we don't we can't really regulate um, construction on on the uh, kind of the non-public side. We can comment on it, but we can't really regulate it. So I, yeah. I, I have to that's, think. That's that. why I said if if you're adding, yeah, to put it on the non-public. Yeah. Thing. It's a reinforcement. Yeah, that's no, that's good. That adds some clarity. Yep. But the side would not be part of the public view. Right, unless, unless it was, unless right, unless unless it was, it was a corner. corner. Yeah. 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 And I don't know, going back to the glass, um, I think mm -hmm. I, I could uh, agree to recommend replacing mm -hmm. yeah. your glass with similar, but not saying you have to replace historic glass with similar glass. Right. I don't know that I would Well, that's that why far. I said if possible. Well, yeah. you didn't. Or did I retain say. historic and other components need replacing if possible? Or replace. Oh, I said it. Yeah, that's the right. And sentence. then I said replace. Right, yeah. right, right, right. Yeah. So we, yeah. yeah. I wouldn't that would that make sense. Yeah. yeah. I think more than it, check me on this, everybody. I think the um, most of our applications have had something to do with windows. Is that a fair statement? Window replacement is a big deal for homeowners, I think. So, um, yeah, it's good to have a fresh look at this section. All right. Well, I, I would suggest that we keep these. Um, recommended changes in in red and that we at the end when all of us have made our recommended changes we can look at the document in total. Um, I would like to do a little research to see if we can have anything to say about the uh, color of the windows retaining the original color although as you wisely pointed out, Sherry and Barbara, you can just change the verb and say recommend, but um, right. require, yeah. Anybody have any other comments about this? Yeah. Well, we could say the same thing about the glass that we recommend. Yeah, I mean, yeah. yeah. OK, great. All right, and Matt, you didn't have any changes at all? I didn't have any changes, but I did have an addition that popped up when I was looking back at the state statutes um, to see if there were any changes to that regarding the technology and re renewable energy. Mm -hmm. And they actually added in a specific statement regarding parking. And we don't have any section in our guidelines regarding parking. And given that uh, there are many commercial properties now, but I mean, even if it were a, a a household property. I, I basically, I, just, I pulled the statement out of the Connecticut statute that says that um, in passing upon appropriateness as to parking, the commission shall take into consideration the size of such parking area, the visibility of cars parked therein, the closeness of such areas to adjacent buildings and other similar factors. So basically just adding into the, our guidelines referencing the state statute that, you know, here's what it says we have to to take into consideration. Well, that's interesting. I had no idea that uh, parking would even be under our guidance here. Um, hmm. Does that get in the way of zoning at all, uh, Shannon, or, or build, building permits? Um, I have to, I'd have to read it. So normally our parking, we want it, you don't want it in the front yard anyhow, so. Yeah. Uh, it can't be in the front yard setback anyway, um, which depending upon where we are, it can be anywhere from 20 feet to 40 or 50 feet. Um, so you're not doing parking in the front yard setback, and then it's it's screened. So we're back to you know the 
plan the bank to a certain extent and uh, so we have a there are several homes that are on Main Street that have existing parking in front of the house too. Right. Yeah. So if, they, if they were to join at some point. Right. Well, then that would get grandfathered in, okay. right? So that would be allowed um, because it was there. Um, and for residents, they're allowed. I'd have to take a look. For, but a residence is allowed um, to have parking, but you're not supposed to be parking on their lawn. Right, so you, it has to be a paved surface or a stone surface, so. Hmm. Hmm. So, but it, Matt, the state statute doesn't say anything about materials? For no. Hmm. No, and that's where I, I mean, I went, because there was a section about parking in the national guidelines. And again, it was much more, that one was much more stringent and talked about materials and things like that. Mm -hmm. But it was tough to tell, I mean, basically, it's, it's still somewhat of a vague statement coming from the state statute, but what I found, I, it was just interesting that they lumped it in with the renewable energy statement yeah. about the fact that, you, you, you know, <laughs> homeowners can approve, but we can't deny, and then it adds this parking thing in, here, in there. So it was just one of those things that I wanted to bring up as a, uh, something to investigate as an ad, and I don't know... It may have exactly. to do with maybe with electric cars and being able to charge them. So if okay. you happen to have a home that doesn't have a garage or the garage is detached, but you want an electric vehicle, now oh. you're pulling electricity from your main house. And, put it in the front. and you need to be able to have proximity. So that may be why for, oh. for our that e-vehicle. <laughs> That's an unusually, unusually current topic to end up in the park guidelines they're usually pretty slow about this stuff but i'm not saying that they didn't get on top of this quickly um maybe that's what covid did for them they had a lot of time in the office they <laughs> they could think about it i'll be yeah. done that's really interesting okay well let's um let's uh so matt you you'll include that as a Something we need to consider in the whole document, though. That's important. Okay. okay. Any shared questions? Yeah. Yeah. Sherry, you said you looked at yours. Yeah, and I, uh, I tried hard to think of something, <laughs> something I could change, but I thought they, it's roofs and chimneys and outbuildings, but I think uh, it's well said throughout. Okay. Uh, there are lots of statements about avoiding this or that, which is, is good. It's a good way of putting it. Um, so avoid adding new chimneys or false chimneys. I would never think of that. So I would never think of adding a <laughs> false chimney. I know. It just seems like an awful lot of money for nothing. But uh, <laughs> So I think it was well done originally. Okay. Good. Great. Anyone? Yep. Yeah. I, I I did the whole research about 60 days ago, so I can't remember all the details. But okay. my my result was masonry, sandblasting, trim, and decorative features um, are all written well. I think we looked at them. Uh, was it 2016? We looked at them again. Correct. Yeah. Yeah, and I I, oh, I couldn't find anything that would need to be tweaked. Right. Okay. okay. Well, that's good. Good to kind of renew that and know that. That's great. Good. All right. Okay. And Bob, did you get yeah, a chance? Yeah. Um, I had fences and walls. And um, and the walls part got to me. It's just There's so many changes to new uh, yes. methods of making walls and reasons for having walls. Um, similar to this, uh, we bring up the item of uh, we approved the fencing between the doctor's office and Elm, on Elm Street there. Mm -hmm. And they wanted the fence, and we went ahead and approved that. And the, but yeah, um, this I have is for walls, and I came up with three different kinds of reasons why they would want a wall. Retaining wall, like Lisa, if you're running a retaining wall down by the sidewalk to keep your bank from washing out into the street. Yeah. Uh, an ornamental wall. I mean, some people make walls just to access their health. Um, and then there's security walls, which I don't think we have to worry too much about here, but in other places in the state you would. 
Yeah. Um, I, and the way they're constructed nowadays is so different. Um, like you would um, not you have to use regular just rocks from a river or rocks from the from the ground. They make them with cement blocks and they stick on similar to what they did in the Farmington right. uh, it looks like. River Bridge in mm -hmm. Farmington. Mm -hmm. It looks like rock, but it it's is. not. Yeah. There's some that kind of, mm -hmm. there are like a styrofoam stick on. Um, I think we need to address these three different kinds of walls, but I'm not quite sure how best to do that. Okay. So, uh, Bob... Do we out them or we say, oh, there's no wall, you just can't have a wall? Or, and then that could be, you know... Um, so, Bob, let me just make sure that... that own I, the wall. Yeah, let me make sure I understand uh, which section that is. Um, is that... that the middle of page 10. Thank you very much. Thank you. I see, I see. Gotcha, gotcha. Okay. Yep. All right. Oh, so you're you're talking about walls that are not existing. They would be brand new then, Bob. Yeah, okay. Um, Say if you wanted to put a, a retaining wall down at the end of your property by the yeah, time. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Okay. Oh you yeah. You have to build it out of rocks to to make it a wall. Yeah. That's a really that's a really big question. I I have never thought about that. I have to And that would be a that would be a permanent feature. It wouldn't be something like a So yes, we would need to take a look at that. That's worth a really good discussion. Yeah. Uh, because I, uh, you know, uh, authentic materials would be, in my mind, really important with these walls. Um, so what kind of research, Bob, do you think we need to do to kind of add to a discussion about that? Like what other communities do, what other historic districts do? Um, that sounds good. Other look historic districts? Look at the state statutes on that. Okay. Right? Okay. okay. Yeah. And the state statutes. Okay. All right. One of the places I've been recently quite often is Greenwich. And I mean, those homes are just beyond description. Yeah. But the walls that tend to lead to the driveways with the wrought iron gates and the security and all that, I wonder what that town has for yeah. guidelines for, for that type of wall because they all look like they're built by masons. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Piece by piece and yeah, yeah, it's not like a farmer's wall out in the woods that right. That just yeah. keeps his stock. Yeah, but I don't. Somebody you know, I don't know. I don't know enough about them to say well that's the period from 1900 to 1950 or something. But that's but, a good idea to see if the Greenwich historical. Yeah. 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 Has. But I know the building that we're working in is 1906, and we're not the, the Bank of America is not the owner anymore. But the owners of that building are going through some hoops to make some changes, really? minor changes, just to the building. So they have probably a robust historic guidelines. Yeah. Guidelines, yeah. yeah. You mean the bank in the Farmington Center? No, in Greenwich. Oh, yeah, Greenwich. Greenwich. Yeah, Greenwich. Okay. They have a robust permitting process. Yeah. <laughs> it seems we would need to have kind of a internal encyclopedia or lexicon for ourselves about what kind of walls are appropriate for what period of houses. Um, yeah. Although we're not, although we're not supposed to do that with uh, additions to historic properties, we're not supposed to require homeowners to put in features that look exactly like the original. So that's a little confusing, isn't it? Um, so what 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 would be the guidelines we provide for that? That's a really good question. All right, more research on that one. That's for sure. Um, yeah. So I so Howard, you're interested in Greenwich and you're spend time there. Could you just look up see on the uh, Greenwich website if they have their guidelines? Um, sure. Yeah. Um, that would be great to know. 
Um, we'll look around at some others. Hmm. Great, great capture, Bob. That's great. <coughs> yeah. yeah, because all the sentence says that we have in here is yeah. take care to use appropriate historical materials. Now, yeah. what comes we need to be a lot more specific about what we mean. Yeah. Yeah. 1970 glass, right. make glass and steel. <laughs> I mean, yeah, I mean, yeah, cement block. Part yeah. Of, the part with the fences is there's basic fences nowadays. There aren't, you know, either you're going to go with plastic right. or you're going to go right. with wood in most cases. And there's going to be just the, the stockade fence or the rail fence. And, and basically, that, that's what we have. Um, there yeah. aren't too many differences there, but like with walls, I think there's a lot of differences there. Yeah. I, they come. They come up with more and more uses for them. Yeah. Right. Right. Which water and sewer and which weren't used historically on the walls, as they were used often in colonial times, just to define Probably. the area around you. Yeah. Was it wasn't. You know, Keep your neighbors off. Right. <laughs> yeah, they were walls, not yeah but it was, yeah. Yeah, definitely. All right, good. good. Neighbors make. Mm -hmm. That's for us, too. Mm -hmm. Right. Yeah, so. Okay. <laughs> You're not going to have people go out to the woods and pick up. <laughs> <laughs> I, I checked a little bit on the front end. I didn't get through everything, but I did check enough all the links that are in the... Um, the front end and the appendix at the back yeah. that talks about the standards. Um, the links are all active. Um, oh, good. Yeah, that's good. Yeah, oh. all the links are active, and most of the description is the same. Um, there's okay. a couple. There's a couple of clerical things to change, and then we've got to decide if um, you know, we want to make some whole scale changes to to some of the wording to match exactly what's on the NPS site or for comfortable with the way it is. So. Okay. Okay, great. I got, about, I got about halfway through. Okay. So let's see who's left. I have yet to do my section. Who else has to do their sections? Am I, the only one? I think yeah. Well Lisa and Anne we're gonna work together. Um, based on my notes we have Lisa and Anne working together on foundations, frame walls, and low maintenance siding. Okay. <coughs> okay. Otherwise, we heard from everyone. Right. Right. Mm -hmm. Low maintenance siding. Okay. And and I think you and I can make a commitment to have this done for the next meeting. I'll depend on you to kick me in the pants. Okay. <laughs> okay. That's great, everybody. Good work. Um, We'll do a little bit more research on some of these open questions and continue these conversations, which are very good ones. Um, all right, so that takes care of the guidelines. Um, and then the expansion study uh, and update. Um, so uh, it was, the report was um, introduced, uh, both reports were introduced to the town council at their last meeting. Paula went ahead and did the balloting for our two additions to the uh, lovely Maine Historic District, and uh, both came back. So uh, oh, good. Jack Kemper and Barbara um, Karski came back, and we're all set. They both uh, oh, accepted or approved. Um, so that set. So on <coughs> next Tuesday, uh, Town Council is going to set the public hearing for their July 13th meeting to hold the public hearing to uh, officially adopt the um, reports as submitted and to amend the town's ordinance for both. Uh, we're doing Unionville and Farmington Historic District at the same time. Great, so we're just oh, that's great. Concurrently, um, just to make things a little easier. So. That's great. Both have three properties that are being added, so okay. we we should be uh, by July, the end of July, I'll I'll finish and have everything updated in the clerk's office and Great. be able to close this one off. Good. Yeah. That's wonderful news. Good. So just for the record, it takes just about a year, doesn't it? Uh, yeah. Well, it does. Yeah. Part, 
Yeah, yeah part, part of it part of it was uh, Shannon's timeline, but yeah. No, 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 no criticism here. I mean, it really does. No, 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 not, I wasn't taking the criticism at all, though, but just, um, yeah, it's, it's just working it into the, the workload and getting through. But it does, there is a little bit of back and forth, and obviously uh, with both districts, actually, there was discussion with people and changing, changing their thoughts about what they really wanted for their property, so then that required more edits than, than yeah. usual. So the documents and the mapping and the description, like every, there's a snowball effect when, yeah. when yeah. you add one in or you take sure. one out, there's multiple things. So. And just for the record, it's always been like that. Oh, that's a good <laughs> idea. We've, all, we've always it's, had, um, yeah. going back to the very beginning, a lot, oh, a lot of times, a lot of revisions, a lot of back and forth and. Yep, that's right. Well, yeah, people oh. tend to change their minds. Yeah, so that's just fine. Um, good. And uh, Shannon, I have to say it's a whole lot easier and more efficient with you as our liaison, uh, staff oh. liaison on this commission. I want you to know that you just make everything so um, efficient and clear and direct and you move on things and we're very appreciative of that. Oh, thank you very much. Here, here. Very nice. Yes, that is a huge change. Very kind of you. Thank in you. our history. Yeah. Thank you. Happy to help. Happy to All help. Right. Good. All right. So, expansion study update. Great. That's wonderful news. We'll go on to uh, other business. Um, I do have a piece of other business I just want to bring before the commission. That is, uh, we have a commissioner who has not attended meetings for over yeah. nine months. Um, we, after the uh, not attending six meetings in a row, uh, we can request that commissioner be replaced. Um, and so I would like to talk with you about that, but if you all agree, I'd like to just move on it um, because we do need active, knowledgeable, um, participating people on this commission. We're a thin bench. <laughs> Um, so, um, does anybody have any thoughts about this, or? Let's move on it. Yeah, yeah. I agree with you. Yeah, let's move on it. Let's move on it. Very good. All right. Yeah. Then I, I will move on this, and I'll connect with uh, Shannon and um, Paula and see what I need to do to move on it. But we need another, uh, you know, committed commissioner uh, working with us. So we will move on that. Um, any other uh, business that anybody would like to discuss or? Um, do we have a, a say in saving the old high school building? Not yet. Um, we, yeah, it's not, it's not. Uh, 1848, no, 1928. 1928. Yes. Yeah. With a referendum that's, that's up uh, for voting today. There's no plans it's to demolish or alter right. the 1928 building. Um, it's not in the plans at all, right? Correct. Right. Right. Not, not it's yet. Not no. even discussed. Correct. No. No. I, I, I come across people that use the excuse, well, we don't want to destroy that building. Why not? And with that, with that's why I'm not <laughs> going to vote for a, a new school. So then, yeah, I they're misinformed. They <laughs> oh, are. Yeah. And, and I did, I've been, you know, it blows me away. It's not. Yeah. The town, nothing else with it. Yeah, but I do know I, I can share with you, um, and uh, the town council wants to wait until after the referendum before further exploring this. But we are going to have establish a subcommittee to explore different options with uh, For that building. How to use that building in the future? So there is going to be more information coming out, and the town council is going to be. Good. Looking into that, so I'll keep you guys updated if I hear anything uh, as we progress. That's good. Yeah. Thank you, Ed. That's great. Good. Good. Any any other uh, topics you'd like to bring up? No. Well, at this point, I'll ask for a motion to um, end the meeting. I shall move. In a second. I second. All right. All in favor, please indicate by saying aye. 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 Okay, any nays? 
<laughs> well, thank you, everybody. Uh, great job on the COA um, discussion. And uh, we'll see you next month. And Anne, I'll be in touch. Yeah. Sounds good. Thanks, Lisa. Take care. Bye. 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 Bye.